Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another video related to variables. Now, in the first one, we've learned how to define variables, how to put some values on these variables. But the example that we did was useful, but how do we make it better? How do we make this concept of variables stick in more? Now, if we go back to the example that we, uh, we were working on, uh, if we go back to this example, assume, and this is a very practical, uh, uh, real uh, problem, assume that you're designing a home and part of designing the home, you want to calculate the area. Why does the area important? Because you want to know how big is your home and then the, the size of your home reflects the price. You know, the bigger the home, usually it's more expensive. So how do we uh, do a simple arithmetic calculations to calculate how big is the area of that house. Now, the area requires a lot more, but just, and we're talking about just that surface or the front of that house. So the, the, to calculate the, uh, area, the uh, area of, a, of a, a rectangular shape or a house, usually it's the length divided, uh, multiplied by the width. Now, we want to make it also more useful because we want the user, whoever is using this program, to say, okay, I want to house, I want a house by, by, uh, with this size and that size, the length and the width. So we want to give the user the power to determine the size and how much, how does that affect the area of the house. Now, in the previous PowerPoints, we've talked about, Dr. Hamad talked about, how we get input from the user. Now, there are commands that we need to learn on how we get inputs from the user. I'm gonna make uh, this, uh, here is my, here is the PowerPoint. The first thing you need to do is that there are different ways you can collect input from users. One in, in Python in here, we use a command called input. And then the input is just a simple line that asks the user to enter a value. These values that the user enter usually are what we call text. Text meaning what? Text meaning like A, B, C, D, whatever. And if we want to input numbers, we can input numbers, but the computer treat this, even when you enter numbers, they treat them as text. What's the difference between text and numbers? The difference is that text you cannot do arithmetic calculations on it. You cannot do, for example, multiplications, additions, subtractions. And in our case, that is important. Why? Because we want to calculate area. Because the area requires you taking two values and multiplying together, the width and the length, right? So we can learn how to ask the user to enter a value. We're going to turn, show you how we convert the text value that the user entered to a number so we can use it in our calculations, all right? So let's take a look at our example again and see how we modify that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna ask the user to enter. Uh, we're gonna define another variable. This variable is gonna say length, and I'm gonna say string, all right? Notice how I used it, length and string. Distinguish between the string and the numbers, okay? So length as a string is going to say input, and I'm gonna say, Input what? Enter room or building length. And this is a new command we're learning. I'll show you the effect of this in a minute. So it says length string equal input in the building length. Now if I run this, watch what happens. It took me to this council. So the council, notice here, it's waiting for you to enter a value. Even if you go here, nothing happens. Not showing because the first thing I did in my program is ask for an input. Now the input that you enter here, whatever you enter here, will be actually stored in this variable. So if I say, I'm gonna, I want my building to be 100 for now, and I hit enter, what, does, what happens now? When, when the minute that I hit the enter, the program continues. It will go to this line and this line and this line and this line. So right now we haven't changed the program to take if, to to use the value that we entered, but I want to show you the step by step. So now if I hit the enter key, 
it went back in here and it did my it did the drawing all right now what we want is that we want this length is actually based on what the user entered so how do i do that instead of putting 200 here all the time we want to use the value that the user entered and actually uh, use it in our program how do we do that this the length is actually a number so numbers there are two types of numbers usually there's numbers that are uh, what we call integers whole numbers and there are numbers that are decimal that has decimal points in them usually they are called floats or doubles now because the length of a building not exactly one meter it could be a meter and a half or you know not the whole number it could be uh, has decimal in it so how do we take what the user gave us and turn it into a number if we go back to the powerpoint notice this line here says a equal float a so the variable that the user enter I'm going to, the value that the user enter, I'm going to take that value, whatever variable name is, and then store it in a new one, or you can use the same one. It's up to you, okay? So you can use the same variable or a different variable, but we need to use this keyword called float. If it was a whole number, you can use int instead of this. So if we go back to our ripple example, now in here, L is going to be uh, float, and I'm gonna make it equal to what? Equal the float, what are we converting? I remember I called that a string, this variable. In this case, I used two different variable name, but you can use the same variable name, okay? Now watch what happens. If I run it, it will ask for a number. If I said 300, if I click on run, hit the enter. If I go here, load, notice my building, now it got a lot, a lot taller. If I run it again, if I, been, if I made it only 50, what kind of a building is this? But okay, let's see what happens. If we go back here, notice my building shrunk dramatically, right? You see the impact of this, okay? So you can do the same thing for what? For, for the, uh, instead of the building length, the building width. So now I can do this, command copy, command V, and I just simply change my variable names, okay? Okay, and I can say that it's going to be my W. Now, you can use the same thing here because it's, the, uh, you know, it'll just override it again. If you don't want to do that, you can do W string just to be different, but you don't have to, all right? Now, if I run it again, it will ask me for two values. And this is a common mistake. So you will see what happens. If I say 300, hit enter, okay? <laughs> Wait a minute, it's asking me about the length again. Why? Because I did copy and paste without changing the text. So what do I need to do? I need to stop it, go back here, building instead of building length, we can do building width. And now watch what happens. Okay, we can do this. Okay, I wanted a building. I want a very, very tall building. I want 400 uh, for the length. And I wanted, okay, 100 for the building, for the width. Oh, if I do this, now go back to the result. Notice it drew this uh, this uh, shape. Okay. No. Again, I did something wrong because of copy paste. You need to be careful with that. Okay. We need to use the name of the new variable that I defined here. Okay. Okay. This is the 400, and this is uh, 100. And then hit enter, you go back in here, notice my building got a lot, a lot taller. Okay, so that's good. So we got uh, we got the input now. We learn how to get the input from the user. We know how to convert the input from a text to a number. And now we need to do a little bit of calculations. Now, in computers, there is something, all the things, all the things that you can think about in terms of addition, subtraction, multiplication, all of that is available for you. All you have to simply do is that just type in your equation. So we're going to say area is equal to, area is equal to what? It's equal to the width and times the length. All right. Now, fine. Okay, it would work if I type in 200 or uh, let's say 250, 
and say by 50, we make it a little bit or 33 to show you that numbers are can be difficult. Now, if I hit enter, it drew it, but what about this area? I need to find out what the area is. I mean, this this is use, useless. I mean, all the things that we worked, uh, that we did, it doesn't show me the area. So what do I need to do? We need to display the area. We need to be able to show the value to the user. Now, with this program, the way we show the value, we show it on cancel. Now, it depends. If it's a mobile, you can show it on the mobile. If it's on... Uh, if it is on a computer, you can show it on a computer. It depends on how you want to show that value. But for now, we want to learn the basics. So we're going to display it in this thing called council. Okay. So if I say print, if I say print, the area is, and then I would say comma, and the name of the variable that contains the area calculation. So in this case, it's called area. Now notice, I have two parts. The first part here, appear as is. Whatever you put between these double quotation will appear on the screen. And that is a text value. Comma, and then we have a variable name. The variable name that you're displaying here is a variable. You don't actually display the variable, you display the content of that variable. So whatever is stored in that variable will be displayed. So if I run it again, let's put some weird numbers. So 77 and uh, 33 or 35, hit enter, goes here, it shows you the, calculator, the drawing, but here's I got my area, okay? that. What you just saw is very, 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 very important and very, very powerful because now you can start realizing what computers can do. In this case, so far what we've learned, we've learned how to draw, we know how to draw shapes, we know now how to do calculations. And how do you do calculations? It's based on variables. And these variables can store information. In this case, we use it to store numbers. You can use it to store different things, okay, like text, okay. For example, I'll just finish this and then we'll make it uh, quick. I can say, to be friendly to the customer, I say, please enter your name, okay. So if I say name, uh, name equal input before we start, okay, input uh, name, uh, enter your name, Please, okay, I'll just show you, okay. And now I have different variable, this variable called name and can contain na uh, text. Why text? Because names are usually text, okay. And then when we say print area, before we print the area, we need to greet that customer and say, dear so-and-so, the area is this. So I can say another print here before that and say, dear, And then we can say, uh, you can say uh, the comma, and then name. And then after that, the area is this. Let's see what happens now. If I say, enter name, please. If I say, Omar, hit enter. The length is 200, or the, the width is um, 170, or let's say 125, four, five, whatever. Now notice, dear Omar, and then the area is this, and if you want to look at the drawing, you look at the drawing. Now, Omar is the variable value that you enter above, and it's stored in this variable name called, na uh, variable name called name, and then the rest of it is what we've done before. You can do a lot of things with this. This is very simple, very, uh, very, very, uh, very basics, but this is the heart of computer programming. What you just learned is the beginning of every program, is that you have an input, you take that input, you do something with that input, you process it, we call it a process, and you produce output. You're lucky because you have a tool that can do, it shows you graphical interface, and then it shows you uh, 
output and processing in a very um, powerful and simplistic manner. We'll see you on the next video.